Glory to Jesus. Masco vere paradiso semanat. Let's worship him. When some give a varabado. Join me in worship. Sing a song to the Lord. Yes, you know they use me play. Oh. Mm. Na 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 na. You know they use me play. Oh. When some carry their God. Yes, you feed me, Lord. When some feed their God. Mm. You fought for me, some fight for their gods. Mm -hmm. Jesus, you know they use me, play. Na 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 na. You know they use me, play. Abaro Sandra, yes, windows of Kujiana Ka. Worship him. Yes. He feeds us when others feed their gods. He will not let shame come my way. King of kings, there is no God like you. Ah, you are. The God that changes every situation. I, the great masquerade. You are the one who keeps quiet, yet your mouth is full with words. King of kings, you are the great warrior, whom when it is called upon, he rises. The God that keeps covenants, there is none like you. Worship him. There is no word. There is no word, there is no word we cannot use to call your name. You are worthy of my prayers. I lift you up. Ah, life giver, life changer, Jehovah, the covenant keeping God. Ah, you are God. Mountain mover, Jehovah, the covenant keeping God. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Jehovah, the covenant keeping God. Life giver. Destiny helper, Jehovah, you are the covenant keeping God, life giver, life changer, Jehovah, the covenant keeping God, ha. life giver. Oh, Barababa, so Jehovah, the covenant keeping God. Worship the Lord. Mama Sates. Mm. If you leave me alone, I'll be wasted. You are my hiding place. I do not have any other God. I do not have any other God. I, my mighty warrior, I, Uba Utekasi Kabarush, I, mm. Covenant keeping God, Jehovah, Covenant keeping God, I, Mana 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 sios. Thank you, Lord. Sing Jehovah. You are 
are the covenant keeping God. Bless the name of the Lord, Jehovah, the covenant keeping God. Covenant keeping God is the covenant keeping God. Jehovah, you are the covenant keeping God. Covenant keeping God. Covenant keeping God, Jehovah, the covenant keeping God, covenant keeping God, you are the covenant keeping God, Jehovah, the covenant keeping God. Go ahead and bless the name of the Lord, child of God. Worship your king, worship your father. He is the keeper of covenants, my God. Yes, we got into a covenant indeed with him yesterday. Emelolaros, mentia barikaras. Was it yesterday or the day before? Yes, Worship him because he keeps covenants from generation to generation. Bless the name of the Lord. He is the covenant keeping God. My father. Thank you, Adonai. Be exalted, my father. Be magnified, dear Lord. Labano soko beret. Zanzanzen tekibarios. O Lord brokobo sopetia barazas. Give him thanks, give him praise. Thank you, Lord. Kai, Aka, Akaya, Aka, Jehovah, Neme, Mao, Orebu, Bea, Keneru, Ari, Nebe, No, Isi, Kendu, Kenadi, Atata, Oh, Aka, Akaya, Aka Jehovah name mao Ah Barenesos Sing a song unto the Lord For worship is about that sound That is erupting from your soul From your spirit Yes, you give it a voice Yadabaruka para Yes Aka Akaya Aka Jehovah name mao Olwe bube ya keneru ari nebe no Isi kendu kena digi atata Oh, akaya, akaji ova neme mao Thank you Adonai, the great I am, the mighty one Ombolo sokobari abarida sitepene verano sokoriash Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to God Most High. Emenoso pre de pelida grosso pelina nanas. Aka akaya. Aka jiova neme mao. Olwe bubeya. Keneru ari nebe no. Isi kendu kenadigi atata. Aka Akaya, Aka Jehovah name, man. Thank you, Father. I come with worship. I declare even to the ends of the earth that you are a covenant-keeping God. Thank you, Jesus, the great I am that I am. There is none like you, my Father. Om no sopere ledita caros. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, the lover of my soul. I worship you. Be exalted. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. The doer of miracles. The doer of good things. Hallelujah. I welcome you all to this altar of covenant prayer. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for coming. I see you, Pastor Peace Jones. God bless you. 
I see you. Yes, I see every one of you. I may not mention your name, but I acknowledge your presence in this prayer meeting. Help me invite a friend. Share this page, please. Tell someone it is the hour of prayer. Stay with me for a moment. We will not be so long here. For if there are a people to pray, there is God to answer. Oh my God, things remain the way they are when men refuse to pray. Ha! Huh. When we do not pray, the enemy will continue. When we complain rather than pray, when we murmur rather than pray, the situation remains. The devil wants you to complain. The devil wants you to murmur. But God says pray about it. He said, cast all your cares upon me. Yes, upon him, for he cared for you. First Peter chapter 5, I think it should be verse 7, thereabout of verse 8. He said, cast all your cares upon me. Yes, for he cares. If there are people to pray, there is God to answer. Help me tell someone, come to the altar of prayer. May I announce to you that God hears and answers prayers. Again, I need you to know that testimonies are rolling in. I People are sending me messages on my DM telling testimonies of the prayers we prayed here that God have answered. Hallelujah. May I also announce to you that the harvest have begun. <laughs> the harvest have started just this morning. Yes, just this morning. Today. Yes, someone shared with me Yes, one of those who participate on this altar. Yes, the business she began. Oh, yes, harvest have begun. My God, her first harvest just arrived today. Glory to God. God hears when we pray. And I tell you, when I say to people that God spoke to me, Please believe it, because I am not one of those who say God have said when he have not said anything. For I fear saying what God did not say, because the Bible said, Woe unto him who says, Thus saith the Lord, when the Lord have not spoken. The harvest have begun. Child of God. You are next to testify. Hear me. God said it will come in 30 folds, in 60 folds, and in 100 folds. Are you ready for this harvest? Hey, it is a compounded harvest. It's coming. Yes, we, it has begun. Child of God, it has started. Wow. Irrespective of your location. Hear me, it will come heavy in different currencies of the world, irrespective of your location. If you believe, let me hear your amen. Oh yes, type it right there, if you believe. Glory to Jesus. Yes, tell someone it is time. Copy this page and paste it. Yes on your social media platforms and God will take it from there. Hallelujah. Open with me to the Bible. Again, it's not a preaching section, but we look into the Word of God to, so we would have direction Every day when we come to pray, that's the essence for which we read the Bible. Because on this altar, very importantly, 
we engage the word of God and prophecy. That which God has said, we pray to see it happen. That's what we do here. So please go with me to the Bible. Aha, the book of First Kings chapter 18. 1 Kings chapter 18, we will read verse 41 and verse 42. 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 41 and verse 42. Glory to Jesus. Before we read, I need you to know what had happened before verse 41. The Bible said that the people have begun to worship Baal. The people of Israel have begun to worship Baal. And in chapter 17, the man of God, Elijah the Tishbite, showed up in the scene and said, It will not rain at my word. And the scripture said, that it did not rain. Hallelujah. And in chapter 18, he had showed up and had met Obadiah, by the way, Obadiah being one that was devoted, a devout third servant of God, and said to him, Go and tell Ahab that I am here. That would have been after three and a half years. Of no rain. Finally, he met with Ahab. And verse 41 of that chapter of the Bible. Having laid that brief foundation, the story, what happened before verse 41. In verse 41, he said, Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up. And drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and to drink, and Elijah went up to the top of Camel, and he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees that was a prayer position i am tempted to read verse 43 and said to his servant go up now look toward the sea and he went up and looked and said there is nothing and he said go again seven times the next verse and it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea, like a man's hand. And he said, Go up, say unto Ahab, Prepare thy chariot, and get thee down that the rain stopped thee not. Wow. Glory to God. Child of God, I hear the sound of abundance of rain. Kai, the cloud is gathered over us. The cloud is gathered over this last quarter of 2024. Believe me, child of God. Hallelujah. The cloud is gathered and I can see it. It is the cloud of harvest. It is the rain of harvest. And now it comes. I hear the sound of abundance of rain. Elijah said to Ahab the king, Go, drink, eat, rise up, rise up from 
regret. Rise up from depression. Rise up from sorrow. Rise up. Go eat. Prepare thyself. For I hear the sound of abundance of rain. That was a prophetic voice. And today you hear a prophetic voice again. A sound of abundance of rain I hear. It is the rain of harvest. God is positioned to give you harvest. Like I had said before, it will come in 30 folds. It will come in 60 folds. It will come in 100 folds. There is a three layer, a three layer of harvest. It is a compounded harvest that divinity wants to give to you in this last quarter of the year 2024. Child of God, I know it like I know my name. Irrespective of the economy, irrespective of your geographic location, irrespective of the nation where you are, irrespective of what is going down around the world, God is saying, harvest is coming to you. God is saying, ah, and I hear it, that there is an abundance, the sound of an abundance of rain coming your way, child of God. Hallelujah. But again, I see something else in that scripture. For after Elijah had brought the word of God, child of God, the cloud had not gathered. After he had brought the word of God, everywhere was still dry. Ah, the Bible said that he went up to the mountain, buried his head between his knees, and he began to pray. That was a position of travail. That was a position of engaging prophecy, my God. It was the place of Thank you, Jesus. Go see if the cloud has started gathering. Elijah took the position of prayer. Elijah took a position. He began to pray. Child of God, thank you for letting me know. Thank you. Hallelujah. And I was saying earlier that he took the position of prayer. Can you hear the sound now? If you can hear the sound, let me know. Glory to God. Let me know if the sound is coming true. Hallelujah to Jesus. Glory. Hi. Thank you very much. God bless you. Amen. After the servant of God brought the word of God, he went to the mountain to engage the prophecy in the place of prayer. And that we have come to do today, that we may engage prophecy in the place of prayer, that we may engage that which God has spoken, my God, saying to God, Ayata pakarabadusa, let your word become my reality, my father. Yea, others will not be testifying and I will not testify. Like I said, the harvest have started. Someone have shared testimony with me today. The harvest have begun, child of God. Men are beginning to reap and you will reap. So today we will do like Elijah. 
we will bury our head in between our knees, taking a prayer position as it were, that comfortable prayer position, and we are going to engage. And he said to the servant, go and see if the cloud have gathered. The servant went and came back and said, I see nothing. He said, go again, go again and go again. And that is why we will come here every day in this last quarter to pray. We will come again and come again. Daily we will be here and we will pray. Aha! And at a point he said, I see a cloud like the hand of a man, my God. And when that testimony came forth, the man of God rose from the place of prayer. And then he went to Ahab again. He said, Ahab, mount your chariot so that the rain will not catch up with you. Mount your chariot because rain is coming. Like it was prophesied. Aha! Like it was spoken a few hours ago. My God, I pray for you. Your testimony will come early. Your harvest will come early. My God, it will not delay. Hear me. It will come in 30 folds. It will come in 60 folds. And it will come in 100 folds. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will make good his word in your life. Yea, a baraka pakata. Lift up your voice and bless his name now. It is the time to engage. E koporo soprete kete yelebede. Enumana. Somebody may be wondering and asking. I am dwelling. I live. The economy is not looking green. Somebody may be saying the economy of the location where I am. Things are going worse by the day. Ah, have you not read about the mystery of Goshen, child of God? Have you not read that a people were in a land with other people? And the mystery of Goshen, Goshen became a mystery place. Have you not read? Mm -hmm. In Exodus chapter 9 and verse 26, that what was happening in Egypt was happening. Goshen was located in Egypt, yet what was happening in Egypt did not get to Goshen. Have you not read in Genesis chapter 26, child of God, you are saying that the economy of where you dwell is somehow, hear me, have you not read in Genesis chapter 26 that there was famine in the land. Every other person experienced famine. Isaac sowed in the land, the Bible said in verse 6, in verse 12, scripture said he reaped a hundredfold in the same land at the time of famine. There is the sound of abundance of rain and I hear it. Your harvest is here. Child of God, bless the name of the Lord. Abadi Damasos, Kete. Igopo Shakarasia, stay with me for a moment as we pray. Elonotoko poro zangra gadagadia kataparida. Eleprete kete berede besia satapati koposo kolovono. Ene ne yekete. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed, worshipped. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In Genesis chapter 47, verse 27, the Bible said, Glory to Jesus. Avene toto. And Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt, in the country of Goshen, and they had possessions therein, and grew and multiplied exceedingly, my God, and multiplied exceedingly. And in Exodus chapter 9, verse 26, the Bible said that except in Goshen, there was hell everywhere. I need you to pray right now, particularly if the country where you dwell, the economy, things are looking rough, uh, particularly if there is famine in the region where you dwell. I need you to pray right now and demand that the mystery of Goshen, my God, and no matter where you dwell, Call for the mystery of Goshen today. Open your mouth and pray. Demand that the mystery of Goshen be activated for you, O Bele. Be activated for your business. Be activated for your career. The mystery of Goshen, my father. Yatapa, let the same that happened with Isaac in the land of Gera happen with you. Let the same that happened in Goshen for God's people become your experience. Ayada badabadabakata parabagidi. 
yaga doto shaka e die pene na sasaka yaka child of god please pray korodo boko to pota na yaga di yaga da 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 e miete te 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 zanga luka paka do siata i perekete kaparula di gabaga di yaka pekete na sa i be fete yati yaka karuta paradi koto polo doko let the mystery of goshen be activated today open your mouth and pray we have come to activate the mystery of goshen ayanda parabakata the word of the lord shall become our reality irrespective of where we dwell irrespective of the economy irrespective of the famine in the land my father irrespective of the kind of job that i do let the mystery of goshen the law of exemption my father the law of exemption let it be put into effect my father gombo toto child of god please pray can you please pray the man that the mystery of goshen my god is a mystery no matter what the economy is saying no matter what the environment is saying the bible says for when men are cast down thou shalt say there is a lifting up open your mouth and pray who brought the my father my father atasata kapakata the same that happened with israel in goshen my god in Yotoba, Akupa Kuta Pakatupa, when you were visiting Egypt with judgment, my father bande tete let the same be our experience. For that the Barabili Vagada, for Israel multiplied exceedingly, and they kete 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 pasaya. May we multiply exceedingly. Ayadi gume godogo bokuni yega bega diga diga de etrososo koparada dayada barabagadi yoko pere dekete yeah. Le pantika marabasante saya. Yeah, Israel grew and multiplied exceedingly. My father, my father, for that is the mystery of Goshen. Oh God, the depana tukupa. No maladai kaipa kasande tukariba. My God, I pray. Has lessileti yekepete. No matter what is happening in Nigeria. No matter what is happening in America. No matter what is happening around the world. Oh God. No matter the inflation in in the land and the paka takapa iye dioza zanguka tiye mini tititi badara di sakava for us it shall be goshen for you it shall be goshen and the bidika kapaka tu pakara zetu le keke peke te yake te peri de begede child of god pray your prayer and the yodo no 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 bega begede ke begede an activation of that mystery an activation oh god of that law bagiata ta 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 kapakata for me and my household for us all leoperia kasu kaputa katavosa in the name of jesus christ we have prayed glory to god you are going to pray another prayer the book of jeremiah chapter 5 verse number 24 the bible said that he has appointed unto us weeks of harvest my god at the bread is a separate he has appointed unto us weeks of harvest that is the word of the lord yes 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 there's a sound of abundance the bible said neither said in thy heart let us now fear the lord our god that giveth rain both the former and the latter in his season he reserved unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest my god the appointed weeks of the harvest the bible said in john chapter number 4 verse 35 do not say there is yet four months before harvest lift up your eyes for the harvest is here open your mouth and begin to decree and declare call forth your harvest
harvest. Say, my harvest shall come without delay. That is the pronouncement. My harvest shall come without delay. Yea, my compounded harvest in this last quarter of the year shall come. It shall be compounded. Let it come, oh God, without delay. Open your mouth and pray. I'll grow ba -ba 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 -ba. that your business, that your investment, my God, that your career ability. Kata -kata -pa -kata. Yes, the door is open. That job is coming. Harvest on every side, in everything. Harvest as you have desired it. Come on, pray. Call for that harvest. What is the harvest you want to see, child of God? Yeah, behave like Elijah right now. He spoke about the abundance of rain, yet he went to the mountain to pray. Child of God, engage. Call for that harvest. What is the harvest you want to see, oh man of God, in the ministry? What is the harvest you want to see? In your home, in your family, Madam What is the harvest you want to see in your career? What is the harvest you want to see in your children? Call it forth now. My God, my father, my father, Ayala Dinagai, it shall be our reality. According to your word, you put the debe debe yagadig, and Dubaru Gabagadi of Borodoba Katia Galita, Nasal Sanda Vida Mananta Sakatia Daya, hey, Yadepara, my heaven shall come any, my Wadaba Sata Pariada, Apukatu Pakuta Pakata, every day of this quarter, every week of this quarter, every month in this quarter, Adabia Dasali di Pakaduba Diote Sata, Preya Ya 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 Manapa. Tato sasa kapaya ya ilobati tangu bosi yame iko bi gubi goi iko bi gubi goi ipo gubi goi yami yari yada saya hube adiga diga 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 da adiga diga diga yaga da gada abando pere take it speak to the things that have ears to hear the Lord says it is my season of harvest hear ye the word of the Lord O earth hear ye the word of the Lord O heavens the Lord says it is my season of harvest. Therefore, come, O harvest, walk in alignment with the word of God. Let systems walk for me. Walk for you, walk for us. Prokoti esali igrogo gogo 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 yoga diga beki imana na da 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 ato praya gada beda beda iporado kopo koto poko rado boko riada thank you father in the name of Jesus Christ we have prayed glory to God thank you Adonai habanesetea the Bible said in the book of Deuteronomy chapter sixteen yes asatata parabadiata ya and verse number fifteen ekondo soto marabadiasa ya the Bible said that the Lord will bless the works of your hands glory to Jesus yene me soso paradiata ya he said the Lord your God will bless the works of your hands seven days shall thou keep a solemn assembly the Bible said on to the Lord thy God in the place which the Lord sh shall choose because the Lord thy God shall bless thee in all thine increase and in all the works of thy hands. Therefore thou shalt surely rejoice. Come on. Begin to ask the Lord breathe upon me. Breathe upon the works of my hands. Ezekiel chapter 
37 and verse 9 the bible said and i prophesied as i was commanded and i call for the breath of god to come upon the bones and every dry bone lived open your mouth and pray yeah my father let every dryness in my life cease let your breath come upon me come upon the works of my hands my father my father my father upon the works of our hands breathe breathe upon us breathe upon the work breathe upon the ministry my father let your breath come upon the works of our hands according to your word in the name of Jesus Christ we have prayed glory to God I on a basande coladia pereke sio parata. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You are going to pray. I bere sesa tepete. You are going to pray. Kaparada balada bayaga na bayaga da. You are going to say, Oh Lord, clothe me with your glory, my God. Clothe me with your glory. Hey, in Exodus chapter number forty, verse sasotapa thirteen and verse fourteen, the Bible said, Yea, and that thou shalt anoint Aaron and his sons with oil, my God, and you will put upon them the garment, my God, and you shall anoint Aaron and his children, and you will put the garment, you will clothe them with the garment, he said in verse 13, and thou shalt put upon Aaron the holy garment and anoint him and sanctify him that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. Verse 14. And thou shalt bring his sons and clothe them with coats, my God, and clothe them with coats, the coat of glory. You will coat them up. Apara Aaron and his sons. I need you to pray. The Bible said in Luke chapter 24 and verse 49, he said to them, tarry in Jerusalem until you are clothed with the Holy Spirit. There is a glory that cancels shame in the life of a man. There is a glory that removes shame. Open your mouth and pray. Clothe me, Lord, with glory. Clothe my what I do with glory. I clot the walk with glory. Clot the business with glory. Clot us, my God, with glory. My father, my father. Clot us with glory. That we will wear glory as garment, O oh God. The glory that counsels shame. My father, my father. And the the sasa taparita abiete kete kete ye elubara zatu kapaka tu bari kati ya gemesa zelepe tikata antumaso kopon de visigis at the senior leti abikapa my father yapio no soto maradakai he bludima adubasukum befit adai sasa ka avigoba kupa ule brenete in the name of Jesus Christ we have prayed. Glory to God. The Bible said in John chapter 1 and verse 5, the Bible said, light shines in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend it. Hallelujah to Jesus. Glory to God. And in Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21, he said, thou shall hear a voice behind thee saying, this is the way, walk therein. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And in 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 46, the Bible said that Elijah ran past 
Ahab on his chariots, my God. There's an anointing for speed. There is grace for speed. Yeah, Varabada, God can give a man speed. God can give a man direction. I need you to pray and say, let your light shine upon my path. Let your light, oh God, shine upon my path that I will know what to do at every time. Part time, oh God, I will know what to do. Grant me direction and grant me speed. Open your mouth and ask the Lord. My father, my father, let your light shine upon my path. The Bible said that the path of the righteous shined brighter and brighter until the full day. Haya adume ketakata direction and speed we ask our destinies my father direction and speed oh God did you not say yeah I will hear a voice say in this is the way walk therein. My father, my father. My God. We receive speed. We receive direction. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Glory to God. In Psalm 119, the Bible said in verse 24 and verse 27, Wow, bono soso pere. The scripture said, Thy testimony are also my delight and my counselors. Thy testimonies are also my delight and my counselors. Glory to God. Elebedemero sakata. The Bible said in verse 27 of the same chapter of Psalm, he said, make me to understand the way of thy precepts. So shall I walk, uh, talk of thy wondrous works. Hallelujah. I need you to pray and say, Lord, let your word be my delight. Yeah, in verse 77, the Bible said of Psalm 119, glory to God, let your word be my delight. He said, let thy tender message come unto me that I may live for thy law is my delight. Can you please pray and say, oh God, that your word will be my delight. Your word will be the delight of my family. Your word will be the delight of my wife, of my children, my father. Let your word be, oh God, my delight. My father, my father, I beseech thee, oh God, hunger for your word we receive. Let your word, O God, be our meditation day and night. Your word shall be our counselor. Abanto pekete ibrene sisi adaga vugulu pakala rosto pete viga da banade. My God, my Father, yai in the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Glory to God in Isaiah fifty-four. And verse number 13, the Bible said, glory to Jesus. And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be the peace of thy children. Can you please pray for your children? Can you please pray for your children? The man of the Lord, yea, and pray, my children will be devoted and committed to you. They will be consumed, O oh Lord, with zeal and power passion for the kingdom and for your house. My father, put your fire in their bones. Oh God, put taste and hunger for your word in them. I, my God, la prapapata, the Bible said, your children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be their peace.
please, can you please pray for your children? Hasati kami di sando tete peri. Roblogo shede la drada sasavre. Igebe de be de be yekati. Alo prona ti abaraba sasata pata. Ebe deke teke bidi karadu soso menene. My father, my father, let your word be their delight. Put your fire, oh God, in their bones. Amuni tepe tepe kartoso. Lopone vaba da 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 da. I pray for my children. Teach them, O oh God, that great will be their peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. I want to give you three seconds to share this page and now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. The Bible said in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 21, Genesis chapter 3 and verse 21, unto Adam also, unto his wife, did the Lord God make coats of skin and clothed them. My God, God can clothe a man. I need you to pray. Pray for your husband. What do you want God to clothe him with? Can you ask God now to clothe him? Pray for your wife. What do you want God to clothe her with? Ask the Lord. Pray for your children. What do you want God to clothe them with? Open your mouth and ask the Lord. Single lady, single young man here. What do you want God to clothe your life with? Ask the Lord now. Open your mouths and pray. Yeah, the Bible said, and God clothed them. God can clothe a people. God can clothe a man. Ask the Lord to clothe your wife. What is that thing you want God to clothe her with? Is it submission? Is it humility? Is What is that? Ask the Lord, is it wealth? Is it excellence? What is that thing you want God to clothe your spouse with? Open your mouth and pray for him. Pray for her now. What do you want God to clothe your children with? Ask the Lord now. Clothe my children with this. Please pray. It is part of the harvest. And Glumene de Giskes, Vopro to Subrebai, Yabiene de de Kia Katitit, Sasei, my God, Lumama Tuma, my wife, I bring before you, clothe her, my God, Hadadi Baba Baba Gadadia Gadegadesas, Zazupra Tilabini Vagadetes, Zeno Pangatikata, Pale, Pale, Hadavia Gioto Sukupas, Brode tata tapikata sakuma die beleni gagagada. Is there anything you want God to purge from the life of your husband, from the life of your wife, from the life of your children? Open your mouth now, from your own life that you know that God need to purge. Open your mouth and ask the Lord. Purge this of me. Purge this out of my life, my father. And clothe me. Clothe my husband. Purge this out of him. Purge this out of her. Hey, my father. In a tat, Zakia deme satia bi karaladi, Ogodiga, siye bemani, Papadati, kopro shiga balavinata, Hegumene itia shigo babatros, Bey, my God, Hakadia gadagadiva latita, Sesepene pidi gadagabinita, Zontrope na ikaili, Eurozo ko purutatatapa, Zabei de fika taparo solina angetit. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Glory to God. In Ephesians chapter number 4 and verse number uh, bada badaya badaya. Verse 4, chapter 4, verse 31, Ephesians. The Bible said, ah, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with 
all malice. I need you to pray. I need you to pray. The Lord said, let these things be purged out of us. We want to pray. Pray for yourself and pray for the church of Jesus Christ. That God will purge his church of these things. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Colossians chapter 3 and verse number 8. The Bible said, but now ye also put off all this anger wrath malice blasphemy filthy communication out of your mouth open your mouth and pray and ask that the lord will purge the church the lord will purge the church purge ministers of the gospel yeah that the lord will bring healing he will bring healing upon the church he will purge your own life pray let god purge you of envy purge you of malice purge you of of bitterness, purge you of anger, purge you of wrath. Pray for the church of Jesus that the Lord will purge the pulpit, purge the ministers. Purge us of pride. My father, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, I need you to pray that prayer again. Ask the Lord to clothe your wife. Ask the Lord to clothe your husband. Please pray that prayer again. I don't know why the Spirit of the Lord is prompting that prayer again in my spirit open your mouth and pray what do you want god to clothe your wife with what do you want god to clothe your children with can you ask god now he is the one that put that clothed adam he clothes us even still pray and ask the lord clothe us my god clothe my wife yes with excellence my children with excellence with humility, oh God, with a submissive heart, clothe us, my father, purge us of pride, of envy, of anger, of malice, of bitterness, purge every man, purge, oh God, purge us of indiscipline, of disobedience, my father, clothe us with an obedient heart, I lepe my God, lupana kuva zaito presi di kade emeni di kaka no mzusi alinde skabi barade fika paru suprete kene inana amini zokom pufat in the name of Jesus Christ we have prayed. Thank you, Father. In the book of Luke, chapter nine and verse number one. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible said, and He gave them up. Authority, my God. He gave them authority over all the works of the devil. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Father. The Bible said, then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils, over all demons, and to cure diseases, over all demons. You have authority, child of God, and I need you to exercise it right now. You have power and authority, and you need to exercise it. I need you to come against every attack of the enemy, every satanic attack on your marriage, every satanic attack on your finances, your career, your business, every satanic attack on your children, every satanic attack, yes, Open your mouth and come against them. Open your mouth and come. My God, every satanic attack on your health, open your mouth and pray. The Bible says you have authority. You have authority over devils. Pray against them now. 
in the name of Jesus, bind that demon that have come to buffet the Kakatula Soprekates for the enemy, the devil commit not but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. In the Nazagaye Balievarad. Zande gaga barabiliti no go zakaish beveze sedi tayata yata bagrogo barada kataka pakarada badioto sande open your mouth and stop the advancement of the devil ye gatina no lebekiaka in the life of my children ababababababagadayakata every satanic incursion every satanic attack I put a halt to it now who get the bed satan I bind you I cast you out Alanda kamano korogeshak zangia miyono udagabaga pagada pakata ika pekete kade ya gadi ya tenete sanzufeme ladabi baga duko soko soko ova vava paravi latake teme daike figasaka upene tikaruma out in the name of Jesus glory to God excellent Jesus I give you praise. Lift up your voice and thank him now for answers to prayers. Bless the name of the Lord who hears and answers prayers. Thank you, Father. We have come to push today. We will be here tomorrow to push also. Hi, Mevesantisak. Let the rain fall according to the word of the Lord. This abundance of rain shall happen for you. Your harvest is here. In the name of Jesus Christ, you too shall testify. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. My God, yes, your expectations shall not be cut short. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you very much for joining me to pray today. The Lord keep you, the Lord bless you. Do not forget, tomorrow is my birthday. Spend a little time tomorrow to pray for me. Shalom and God bless you. Bye.